There's the sound, you guys. Here's Walmart here. I gotta do this quick before security catches me out here. So there's the Walmart, right? So we're back over here in this kind of an empty field. And you'll see how it's kind of looks like there would be what looks like a huge tunnel. See this field, how it's been down? I really don't want to get caught here by security. But if you look, it's just weird how it extends to this land over here. like. Looks like something was dug out and filled it back over with dirt at one point. So, are there tunnels under Walmart? Absolutely. The red arrows actually follow along the path where I believe would be the tunnel and where I was at shooting video earlier. You can see the parking lot looks to have new asphalt extended right over the top of what looks to be the tunnels. Just recently, black fence has popped up on the other side of the train. You can see these sort of train cars or storage units but they look like, I don't know, like train tops if you ask me. Looks like a mobile command center. Over here on the left I just saw the biggest helicopter I have ever seen. I have never seen so many Walmart trucks in one spot. Looking over here at this uh, closed Walmart at Pico Rivera, California. That looks like uh, porta potties. I'm gonna look inside and see what they look like. Look like FEMA trailer porta potties. Mission Valley Sanitation. Uh, reminds me of stuff I saw in Iraq. Yeah, FEMA style stuff. Over here, you see what uh, appears to be uh, NASA on one of their bins maybe that's a garbage company or something but that's pretty strange looking all the uh outside is closed off you can't see inside i walked up to the front and it's all uh bl black trash bagged blacked out there's some of the uh, obviously a security camera right there they're keeping watch on their store their permanently closed store this is walmart pico rivera just want you to see you can see in there completely empty completely empty in there those are the cash registers and nothing behind there. Absolutely empty. I don't know what's going on in there, but it's completely empty. That whole place is empty. Jeez Louise. Look at that. Cannons. Walmart, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Come to take a look at what Logan they got security. going on. Yeah, they got the secondary security guard. We just watched one go down over here on the ramp and take a cruise through and see what we can see. It's completely vacant in there. They have plumbing issues. Why are they ripping everything out of the place? That's what I want to know. Look at it. It's gone. Empty? Yeah, complete. You can see inside the store and it is completely empty. Why wouldn't you just leave the store the way it is, fix the plumbing issues, put everything back? They've gotten the whole place. I just don't understand why you would need to gut a complete store. No. <clears throat> I've plumbed Walmarts. Yeah. And there's no reason to gut a whole entire store. This is our Walmart here. Fernley, Nevada. Welcome to Jade Helm Walmart. Walmart, Midland, Texas. Just got run out of the parking lot by a security guard. Came over here to Roadhouse to eat. Came back out. Saw this on my Wi Fi. Wow. Walmart and the Department of Homeland Security. Here we have NBC News right here. Walmart joins Homeland Security terror fights. 
We're talking NBC News. We're not talking conspiracy theory news here. We're talking NBC News saying this. Okay, and you saw with some of that video footage I just showed that clearly DHS is there and doing things and very odd things. Even creating tunnels underneath the ground from Walmart to who knows where, right? So, obviously, you probably have seen this video with uh, Janet Napolitano talking about how Walmart's a partner with DHS. Of course, we all know about this. We know about these odd closings in 2015 where five of them closed for plumbing issues. And you saw the footage of the vacated Walmarts, which didn't really make a lot of sense either. And you even had a plumber mention that you don't need to vacate the entire stock of a store to do plumbing obviously it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out now we have uh 154 more closings in america just the united states 260 worldwide uh, of course they have thousands upon thousands of stores but conveniently all these stores are being closed within sort of southern jade helm states still you know states where you have sort of a independent spirit people who believe in their second amendment rights those who would actually want to uphold the constitution who would fight against tyranny right these type of type of states and clearly something's going on here this isn't rocket science i mean that footage was kind of disturbing some of those things particularly seeing all those military vehicles helicopters uh military personnel um yeah it just seems a little strange right of course you probably have seen that recent video put out by uh, c Irvana here uh she put out a video that became very viral and you know what's odd about all this is very few truthers want to cover this topic it just seems a little odd to me um i mean really i mean there are several videos about this topic but it just seems like very few people will cover it um you know, you have various videos, but it's not usually the standard truther community really covering this topic, it just seems to me. And of course, last year, it was only five closings, and maybe at first some people were like, oh, it's just five stores. But these five closings have now blossomed into 154 for this year. And you saw what type of odd footage we have from various YouTubers here on this topic. It's pretty freaking crazy looking. It really is. And I think there is something to this. The fact that Google accidentally released a map showing all manner of closings within a certain uh, state. Just like literally every single Walmart in that state was closed. Then you have an insane amount of surveillance uh, equipment at many of these Walmarts. Uh, you're going to see a little bit of footage here. I'll show you where it's just like, what in the world is going on here? Um, you know, a lot of people don't want to think about this. I'm not saying that something is going to happen. I look at this maybe in a sense like it's a preventative measure on the part of the government, on the Department of Homeland Security, to uh, quell any type of uprising if certain things, were, certain policies were passed and the people didn't like it and protests were to go a little awry, you know, then you might have some sort of you know, minor civil unrest or major civil unrest. And maybe in that case, they have this plan A, B, C, and D in place. And Walmart's part of it to where they can easily transition a Walmart into a FEMA camp or whatever type of detention center. There's also a lot of other things. Uh, these mobile surveillance towers that have been cropping up at various Walmart locations that just seem really out of place. Uh, for they're, they're designed for crowd control. Um, I mean, even an old Walmart in Montana being converted into a prison, clearly a Walmart could be potentially converted into something like this. Okay, here's where I want to take your mind. Now, just ask yourself if this, is, this makes sense, if this is rational. Okay, you have a country uh, full of citizens who have the Second Amendment rights, and you have people who have guns, you have people who have the internet at their fingertips, uh, people who are very concerned about where our country's going, 
you have a government that wants more and more control and you see every day uh, erosion of rights uh, things are going in a south you know they're going in the wrong direction you have a government maybe that doesn't operate under the same principles it used to operate under it's not so much um, a Christian country anymore that's for sure uh, you know, usually what happens in these type of countries where God goes out of the picture is the government tries to take the place of God, where the government gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is a common theme among many countries where they reject God, and the next thing you know, you have a dictatorship, right? So when, when God is thrown out of the picture, the government or the person themselves wants to be their own God. And with that being said, uh, is it too far-fetched? To think that if if the government wants to have full control over a society, that they wouldn't put in place plans in case of civil unrest, that they may build something secretly. Of course, if they just started building them out in the open, you'd be like, what the heck is this, right? But, you know, if they take an existing building that's already there, it's all throughout the United States, they close them down for plumbing issues, you know what I mean? It, it makes sense to me, you know. It could be a plan A, B, C, D that the government has in place. You can't, you can't pretend that they're stupid. Obviously, they're not. They're hoping that you are. Maybe you're kind of mind numb robot watching TV, watching your favorite reality show, not really paying attention to anything. Oh, let's just sign away our gun rights. Let's sign away every right, and we, you know, kind of like you watch some of these Mark Dice videos where he has people sign away their lives, you know, hey, here's a petition to uh, get rid of the First Amendment. Oh, okay, I'll sign it, you know. I mean, this is the kind of retarded people we have in society these days that watch TV all the time and just are stuck on their on their laptops or on their, on their uh, iPhones, on their tablets, and they just, it's like all they care about is what they are doing. They're not really concerned about society because they've been lulled asleep this is what we're talking about here, you know, and obviously you're not one of those people or you wouldn't be watching this video, but you know, there's a lot of people around you like this and I mean, they're not paying attention to this. They're not paying attention to this at all. And you know, it's something that we should be concerned about. We should be thinking about this. What's going on here, right? Uh, do I think they're going to round everybody up? Well, maybe it could happen if there's some sort of huge civil unrest that's kind of how I'm thinking well, it would it would play out. I don't think it's something like they're setting it up so they can round us up later or something like that. I think it's more like a, 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 a plan B or something where if things go wrong, we got these things in place, you know, to take care of the problem. That's how I look at it. 